Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a question and answer about Sandals Resorts. So we just recently came back from Sandals Grenada and I asked you guys to ask me any questions you might have had over our time, any of like the experience, um, our room, and yeah, we're gonna answer some questions today. The sun is setting, it is the shortest day of the year, so hopefully it doesn't turn. Is it really? Yeah, hopefully it doesn't turn too dark too quick. But I'm just gonna give you like a brief overview of where we went. So we went to Sandals Grenada. It was our third Sandals vacation. Um, we first went to Sandals Exuma, then Sandals Barbados, and now Sandals Grenada. And it is all inclusive for those of you asking. So all you can eat and all you can drink, alcoholic beverages, everything like that, it's all included. You do get airport transfers to and from the resort as well. Um, and you can have butlers if you do upgrade, but you do tip the butlers or you can tip the butlers. They're the only people in the entire resort that can accept tips. There's so, a no tipping policy. There is. Because they're yeah. compensated well So from what we've read. And so, even right. like waiters, waitresses, everything, you don't, there's no tipping at all unless you have butlers. Right. So you can tip the butlers. Or people that drive you to and from the airport. Right. So we stayed, our room was called the South Seas One Bedroom Butler Villa with Infinity Edge Pool. If you guys did not see my video, I will link it down below. We did like a mini room tour, but that was really nice. We did have three butlers. So we had Randall, Chanel, and Crystal, and they were all so sweet. Um, tipping wise, it does depend on how much you actually use them and need them and ask for things. For us, we didn't really feel like we needed butlers. Like in the future, I don't think we need them because we almost felt bad asking them to do things. Yeah, we're not the type of people that really like like that that kind of pampering right. service. I mean, we go. Don't get us wrong. We like the all inclusive. It's great. We like luxury, but <laughs> but when, that's like over the top. When someone's like. Like a couple times we got breakfast sent to our room, so they carried it on a tray and they were literally like dripping sweat by yeah. the time we, they got there and we were like, okay, never mind, we're not doing this again. We just felt bad, like we don't want, even though they accept tips, like we didn't want to have them do it. And Butler is actually like the highest, what's it called? The highest That's level? That's like the, the top position, I, I guess, from what we kind of can see. And you, when you, if you read about, research the resorts and everything, I think it's like a people, they like, they like to be uh, the butlers at the resort because I'm pretty sure they probably make good money in that position. Yeah, so it is, when you hear the word butler, you kind of think, or I kind of thought like, you know, it's just like basically someone who's like serving you, like in a kind of a negative way, but butler is just the term that they use at Sandals and it's an actually like really high yeah yeah they're trained by uh english like, butlers english butlers guild or something. yeah okay so we're gonna ask answer some questions now so someone said i don't know if this is too much personal information to ask but how much did you spend on the whole trip so we got this question a lot on how much money we spent our trip for this time we spent seven nights eight days in grenada and it was around $5,500. There's a big but after that, though. What? Well, because everyone's going to look at our room and maybe think that's not that bad. But we were... Well, we got upgraded yeah. by Sandals. So they upgraded our room. They gave us butlers. So our room was supposed to be more expensive. But originally, $5,500 is for like an ocean view um, without butlers. So... It is kind of pricey. A lot of you are probably going to be like, that's way too expensive. But you can do payment plans. Like, you don't have to pay all the $5,500 right away. You can put $49 down per person right when you book it, which is crazy. So $100 down, and then you can make payments up until you go. You have 45 days before you leave to pay it off completely. But let me tell you, it's so easy to do, and... You could book a trip for 2021 and just like slowly make payments so until you go. So the further you book it out, the easier the it will The better. Be you honest. just won't be able to get plane tickets right away. Like if it's right. 2021. So that's not including plane tickets. For, so Right. Somewhere like Grenada was actually harder to get uh, plane tickets there. As opposed to Barbados, which is crazy because they're, they're relatively close to each other. Barbados, it was a lot cheaper to fly to and a lot easier to get yeah. good flights. Right. Um, someone said, 
tips on tanning and not burning you got so dark thank you I have a huge tan line and we don't really have any tips because we both burned um, I, I always burn I just burn he's Irish so he burns pretty quick um, I burned as well though honestly we ran out of sunscreen so I would recommend if you're not bringing a checked bag which we did not to probably fill up those tiny little containers because we ran out of sunscreen day one and sunscreen there is very expensive well, no, we bought sunscreen there, and then we ran out the day before we left, and we're like, we don't want to buy The day buy before it. we left, we were going four days without sunscreen. Mm, no, we had the spray. I Literally, didn't think there was we ran out the morning. To... No, we just knew we were going to run out, so we were like kind of not using mm. it. I was, yeah. I didn't put sunscreen on for four just, days. I, I think you just have to accept you're going to spend uh, almost $20 on a can of sunscreen. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see how long is the flight so from it depends on where you're coming from but for us we left out of Boston and total is around five and a half to six hours direct flight um, we had a layover in Miami you'll most likely have a layover let's talk about planes real quick so our most not we don't like American Airlines that's our least favorite. We're just sucking down farts in that thing. <laughs> Ew, sick. Well, it's just like sucking down your own farts. No, no. You freak. No, no. It's just like I don't know. It's just not as open. It's not as you know. Yeah, American Airlines. I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend looking at JetBlue if you're, you know, wanting a good flight. I would recommend JetBlue. You have more space. You can watch movies. There's a screen right on your seat. And it's just more comfortable in my opinion. I think those screens on the back of the headrest might only be for, for flights that go out of the country though, or long distance. JetBlue? All of them. That's why the American Airlines, I think, to Miami didn't have them. Because uh, maybe it was, it's still a three hour flight. I could get a movie in at three hours. So yeah. maybe they should look into it. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Oh, the one good thing about American is they include headphones. JetBlue, you have to buy them. That's true, but, but most JetBlue people have, headphones. have pretzels, Cheez-Its, cookies. Yeah, they're good JetBlue about that. is so good with the freaking snacks. I mean, so they're just good. little bags of snacks. Hey, they're not like anything. I mean, I ask for doubles. Don't feel like you can't ask for two. Ask for two. Okay, um, someone said, who do you usually book your trips through? We just book it through the Sandals website. They're always having deals and promotions. It's usually, most likely, 60% off and then a $1,000 credit. And they always do deals, like around holidays especially, they'll do like another deal, um, like an extra percentage or or like something included extra, in it. Like a couple, five, extra 5% five or something, which is, you know, it's pretty good. What's wrong? He's fine. I'm, I'm petting him. All right. Um... So yeah, I would recommend booking it through Sandals and you can also do your payment plan through Sandals. Like I said, you only have to put $100 down when you first book. No, I'm not being sponsored to say that. I just, like, when we booked our second trip and we put only $100 down, we were like, oh my God, we just booked another vacation. But it was like the best feeling in the entire world. I mean, there's probably other all-inclusives out there, but we're just biased because this is the only one that we've been to and it's, you know, they, they're pretty... It's pretty damn good. It's luxury. Um, okay, so a lot of you asked, like, the difference. A lot of you said that you're going on your honeymoon or you're getting married and you want to go to a Sandals resort and which one we would recommend and why. So, like I said, we've been to three, Exuma, Barbados, and Grenada. Grenada is my second favorite. Barbados is definitely my first, and Exuma is my least favorite. Not saying that it's bad in any way, but that's how I would rank it personally. What about you? I would rank it the same. All right, so let's just talk about each one real quick. So Sandals Grenada, our most recent one, it is a smaller resort. Much smaller than both the ones that we went to before. Mm -hmm. I think there's only, is there only seven restaurants? Something like that. There's not that many restaurants. It's a smaller beach, although it does feel more secluded. Mm -hmm. So if you like that and you don't want to be around a lot of people, then you would really like it. If you don't want a, like a nightlife or a lot of noise, um, a lot of people around you, then yes, you'll really like Sandals Grenada. Like, and we did. You can drag your beach chairs down the beach a little and you, you're not gonna be next to anyone. Like the beach we looked over and it's not a, a big, big beach, but it doesn't it doesn't fill up like some of these beaches where you're like a packed like sardines. It was, it was good. 
Yeah. It's and the just, water was amazing. The water was the best water we've ever been in. So it was even more warm than Barbados and even more clear. And it was just a beautiful beach. So if you're looking to go for like a, a relaxing vacation or honeymoon and you don't want to see a lot of people and you want kind of like the beach to yourself kind of vibe, then Sandal Granada is where it's at. I feel like this lighting is shit on a shingle. Um, what are you going to do? Also, yeah, like there's not that many restaurants and there's not that much crazy nightlife. So it's a quieter resort, I would say, for sure. Sandals Barbados, wow. I would go back to Sandals Barbados in a heartbeat because you have Sandals Barbados and then you have Royal Sandals Barbados. So you can actually visit both resorts. It's basically one resort. Like that's how close they are. It's like you walk from one onto the other. It's, mm -hmm. I don't what even know why they call it two resorts. And I'm pretty sure there's like 17 restaurants that you can go to. There's um, definitely way more than Grenada. And that's the number one thing for me after being to a bunch of, a few sandals. Like the ones with more restaurants, I prefer now. Mm -hmm. I have that perspective because you, you tend to like, you tend to get sick of, of, um, no, but the ones like Grenada specifically, like they only had a few. It was, it was, yeah. we went, we went to the same restaurant three times for dinner and we had, are able to have something different every night. Butch's Chop House is the best. Yeah. No matter what resort you go to, they're going to have Butch's Chop House. Let me tell you, it's the best food you will ever freaking have. Lobster mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, steaks on steaks on steaks, lamb chops, chicken, such good food. You will not regret it, and you will also not regret going to Soy Sushi Bar. So definitely go to a resort that has both. And we agree on that, that at both resorts, those were our two favorite places Where to eat. Where are you going? Yes. So, like we said, Sandals, Barbados is bigger. It has more restaurants. Um, there's more of a nightlife. They have a talent show. Sure, they have activities that you can do every single night, no matter what resort you're at. But Sandals Barbados just felt a little bit more lively. They had them different different places because the resort is so big. They're able to have the, uh, the events or whatever. Different spots on the resort so it feels like something new where Grenada, everything they did was one Under the same roof, which was kind of was, weird. Yeah. It was small so they only had one central area where they could yeah. entertain a big, big group of people. And Sandals Barbados, that chocolate buffet was like such a nice layout. Everything was lit up underneath like the stars with the lights and everything. And um, Sandals Grenada was, like he said, like under one roof and it was like a lot smaller. So <clears throat> the water's still really nice at Sandals Barbados, but Grenada has the water beat over that. I don't know if there's any more questions. <clears throat> and then Exuma was good the reason that i personally that was not the one that i would choose to go back to first it, it was the coldest it, it's it's for the most uh it's the highest highest north <laughs> well how do i say, <laughs> say that again I'm kind of it's the furthest north uh of the three resorts we've been to so it's it's the coldest and we went in what january, january. So we really, it was like 75, we went in which their is winter. nice, but it wasn't like we were like wanted to get into the ocean every single minute of every day. And when we did, it was like not cold. You could get in, but if you're nitpicking, it was not the warmest water you've ever been in. Okay. There's pretty much the same questions being asked. So we're just going to answer this last one because literally the sun's about to go completely down. So the last question I'm going to answer is how do you save up for your vacations or budget? I've gotten this question so many times, but like I said earlier in this video, when you only have to put a little amount down, then you can kind of budget out the rest of the months leading up to your vacation. So it makes it a lot easier. Write everything down. That's what we did. We wrote down what payments we were going to make on what month. Um, we had to make a bigger payment, obviously, like 45 days before, but we had written it all down and got organized beforehand. And again, the further you book it out, the, the, the less leak. you're yeah. going to have to pay. We were pretty quick from it's our overheating. last vacation to now, to this one, so we, you know, we kind of had to budget more, but... Yeah. All right, so those are all the questions that we're going to answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you in our next one. Let me know if you have any other questions that I did not answer down below in the description box, and I will answer you guys, but we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.